and good Tuesday morning, Mid-Missouri. This is early Tuesday morning when I'm recording this, so this will be outdated likely by the time you watch. But I want to show you what our setup is today, and this highlights that. We will have high pressure to our east today. This brown line that stretches through the Dakotas all the way through Nebraska, Kansas, and all the way through Texas, that's a trough of low pressure. And, well, that is eventually going to warm us up today. We've got winds out ahead of this. Uh, that's going to bring in plenty of south warm air, and that will push our temperatures a little warmer than what we had yesterday. We'll also see a chance for maybe a shower or two with that. We're looking at mostly dry conditions throughout the day. But we'll pick up some slight chances for showers late this evening. I'll show you that here on our future track. Clear and mild is where we're starting this morning with temperatures largely in the low 60s. And then we're partly cloudy by the time we get to noon. But until then, it's nothing but sunshine. We'll pick up some of those partly cloudy skies west of Highway 63 and mostly tied to Highway 65 around noon. Some spotty showers are possible, but even those will have to fight some dry air. So you see how isolated that activity is, yeah, you may pull back on your expectations for rain just a little bit more because, again, there's some dry air near the surface that rain will have to fall through. These showers really struggle to make it any further into mid-Missouri. We're really looking at Sedalia, Marshall, Versailles, Camdenton, the Lake of the Ozarks area in general through about 5 o'clock for any chance for an isolated shower. But even there, your rain chances are low. We don't see any chance for rain really make it to Columbia until maybe 9 o'clock to midnight, and even then it's very isolated. We're looking at that rain lingering into tomorrow morning. Wednesday, we've got a better chance for more scattered shower activity. This has a better chance of actually bringing you some rain at the surface, but even there, it's very light, and I don't expect much in the way of meaningful rainfall, but we will see some scattered activity that lasts generally throughout the day. The big impact from that is going to be cooler temperatures. We'll be in the mid-80s today. We're looking at 70s tomorrow. As we look towards Friday, we're looking at a lot of dry time to start your Friday, but as we Move towards Friday night into Saturday, you'll notice more chances for rain building into the forecast, generally speaking. Still, future track showing a lot of dry conditions, but we know that we will have a chance for rain Friday evening uh, on a very isolated basis. As we look towards Friday night into Saturday, that moisture gets a little bit closer out ahead of a cold front, and this is going to set us up for a better chance for rain on Saturday. And eventually that cold front's going to push through and increase that even more. So uh, timing of that cold front will play a big role in what your rain chances are day to day throughout the weekend. Right now the best chances look like Saturday, but there's still some potential that could linger into Sunday. But this takes us through Sunday morning, the next five days. Our best chances for rain are in the western half of mid-Missouri. Uh, and as you looked at future track a few moments ago, you kind of saw that. We could see anywhere between a half an inch to maybe two inches or more in isolated higher amounts, what you're seeing here in the red for Sedalia over towards northern uh, Benton County. But still, I think we'd have, to, we'd have to see all of our rain chances come through for us to see that. So uh, I'm a little hesitant on those higher totals. But it does look like some meaningful rainfall could be on the way over the next five days. And again, that takes us really through Sunday morning, our best chance right now on Saturday. One thing to note with those daily rain chances are temperatures stuck in the upper 70s, so we'll feel somewhat seasonable for the first day of fall. That is on Saturday.